So I knew when they came up with the Amalia that I loved the flavors. I knew I loved the way that the marriage of flavors with the honey cinnamon and the, the richness of the, the Bacardi 8 and the, the herbaceousness of the chartreuse, I knew the papaya in there. I knew I loved that marriage of flavors and I was onto a drink that was pretty good. I was happy with that. What I didn't know was how I was gonna classify that drink. So go back through like the annals of classic cocktails, especially Cuban cocktails. And so the first one you come to is the daiquiri. Well, it's like my favorite drink, but it's a little busier than a daiquiri. So, the only daiquiri I know that's got yellow chartreuse in it is that Stiggins daiquiri number two, which is in the Canon cocktail book. And yeah, it's, it still didn't feel like that was the, the kind of road that this drink had gone down. So look at different drinks. The, there's another one chartreuse, the, um, the Daisy de Santiago. It's not really a Daisy and we don't float the chartreuse, so it's not really that style of drink either. So is it something maybe that's a little more contemporary that we haven't seen? Something like the, the old Cuban by Audrey Saunders. So that certainly is uh, the kind of drink that really pulls through the seductive notes of the Bacardi 8, but it doesn't quite feel like the kind of drink we're talking about still. And so rather than, than kind of going from those old classics and moving forward, I kind of took a step back and then I, I read, uh, we read David Wondrich's Punch Book and um, I, I, like I read a passage in there and it said, we have a pretty clear idea of what these Englishmen were drinking. Aqua vitae, watered down to a more quaffable strength, soured with citrus juice, sweetened with sugar, and spiced with whatever was handy, be it nutmeg, mace, rose water, or what have you. Simple enough, considering that it's the foundation stone upon which of all modern mixology rests. And I was like, oh, that's what it is. It's a punch. It's just spirit, sweetness, citrus, water, spice. That, that really makes so much sense, considering that the whole the whole point of the drink, like the genesis of the drink and the point of my legacy is really to showcase how all these communities come together and work together and achieve more as one. So so it's so apt that a drink like that, that can be enjoyed, enjoyed communally, really is what that drink is. It's what the whole thing is about in the first place. Um, just bringing people together around the drink just to make sure that together we can be our best selves. It's perfect. Thank you.